So in today's quick tip, we're going to talk about how to handle and get your dog accustomed to being touched and groomed and manipulated. So stay tuned. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog. The baddest pup that there ever was. Seat stealing all day long. Howling like a junkyard dog. So one of the things that people comment about a lot in my videos with Dexter is they'll say something like, well, my dog would never stay still for that. Or how do you get your dog to be still while you do his nails? Or I can't get the knots out of my dog's hair because he'll move around too much. Um, so what I want to talk about is that prevention. So I'm a big proponent on preventing and teaching versus trying to untrain or retrain a certain behavior or response. So the day that Dexter came into our home, which was over 10 years ago, wasn't it little monkey? Yes, it was, as I started working on handling issues. And so what that means for me is I slowly started to teach Dexter that being touched equaled food. Because for Dexter, it's all about the food. All he seems to want in life is more snacks. So when they're young, you just want to slowly, you want to make sure that you're at your dog's comfort level so it's not about manhandling them or sitting down on them so they can't move. And you're slowly going to do things like lift up their ear and you can mark that behavior with a yes. So you could go, yes, and that tells them they've done it correctly and a reward's going to happen. And what you do is over time, you start to do things a little longer. So before they get the reward, I might really start to go, okay, I'm going to look in there. And I start thinking about what is it that this dog will probably need in life. So if we look at Dexter, look at that. Woo, look at that. He's going to need lots of brushing, daily brushing to be exact. And for my monkey, he does get a trim as well. So we'll talk about in a future video about how to slowly get your dog accustomed to clippers and trimmers. So he had the little treat stuck in his teeth, don't you? He had the little treat stuck in your teeth? Hmm? Yes. And so the other thing is when you're training with your dog and you use a lot of food rewards, we can manipulate the dog. So if I have the food here and it's desirable enough and the situation isn't scary, I can lure him around. So if I want him to face you guys, all I have to do is take that treat to his nose. Now I can eventually have different cues that tell him to spin around and that sort of thing. But right now, when you think about young dogs, food, manipulate around and so once they start getting really accustomed to that then they'll start following these lures and you can think about handling as I can lure him to the down I can take his brush do a little brush and then yes and treat so but do you see how the food's here and I can have him follow it around so I can slowly bring him down I can touch his feet and I can look at those nails and yes and follow that with the food tree. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good jobs and pets and praise. That's okay, but in this situation, it's probably not going to be valuable enough. You can also incorporate all these healthy treats, and I'll have a link in the description about how to find healthy treats and what to look for. Um, but you can count these as calories. So right now what Dexter is eating is he's eating some dehydrated beef heart. So I can count that as part of his daily calories. So we can eliminate some of the food in the dog bowl. And then I also have some dehydrated fruits and vegetables. So again, I can count that as towards the calorie count. So we're going to touch their feet. Look at those nails. That's a good boy. Yes. And treat. If I want to teach them how to do something on their side, I can take the food lure. <laughs> he thought I dropped it. And I can lure that way. And again, when your dog starts getting used to following food around, manipulating them isn't a, a challenge. So I can lure here, lure here, lure over there. Good job. 
And as they get comfortable with that, when it comes to reality, Dexter, again, he's almost 11. We've been doing this for almost 11 years. I don't have to have this food anymore. So I've conditioned him that all these things equal food when he was a youngster, and now I don't have to feed ever after every behavior. So in reality, I can have him do that down position, and all I have to do is, because he's so accustomed to being touched and handled, is take his feet, ready? Okay. And just touch them. It's not flipping them over. I do not want you to do that with your dogs. He's just happy and comfortable about me moving them around like that. And that's what you're doing when you're handling them. You're teaching them that this is a comfortable, safe thing. It's not about me being a mean ogre and flipping you over and sitting you down. And then we can start thinking about everything, including the teeth. And you start lifting up and then yes and treat. So you'll do that. You ready? <laughs> so you would lift, yes, and then give them that treat. If it's really challenging when they're young and they're mouthy, you can have something like coconut oil on your finger and you can have them lick it and then you just lift up the gums, okay? So we can look in the, the ears here and then yes, and then treat. And I think about everything, getting them to stand up, look over here, what a good boy and then yes, and then treat. From their nose, to their toes, to their tail, if they have one. This is something that we did on a daily basis. Pretty much every evening when he was young and a goofy little puppy and running around, we did it after the puppy zoomies, after all the exercise. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick tip. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're looking to dive deeper into your dog's training, behavior, and nutrition, don't forget to check out our private community on Patreon, which is the link below this video. Until then, remember to pause and enjoy life, and we'll see you next time.